Next, we're going to add some platforms for our level. So when we add our character laser on, our character has something to stand on straight away. There's two approaches to this in a Godot. We could actually create a platform in our level. But actually, the better way to do it is we're going to create a separate scene. So we're going to go scene, new scene. And instead of clicking 2D, 3D, or use interface node, we're going to go other node. And the one we want is called a static body. So a static body for 3D physics. Press OK. And we're going to rename this straight away. And we're going to call this platform. Now you notice that we've got this little error message and it says that this has no collision shape. So what we need to do is we need to define actually what shape this platform is going to be. So we're going to right click, add a new child node, and the child node that we want for this is a collision shape. So collision polygon is slightly different, we can define the shape a lot more. Collision, sorry, collision polygon, we can define the shape a lot more. Collision shape is fixed shapes that we can do. So we get another warning message, and this says that we have not actually provided the shape. So what we're going to do is go to our properties, and we're going to give our platform a shape. And then what we're going to do is go for box shape, so a cube. I'm going to transform this cube as well. I'm going to set the scale to 0.2. This gives us a much thinner platform to work with. Now our platform has collision, but it's invisible. At least when we start playing the game, it will be invisible. So what we need to do is actually add a mesh to it. We're going to right click on our collision shape, add a child node, and we're going to look for a mesh and a mesh instance, making sure we're not getting the 2D mesh. So mesh instance, and then same for this one, we need to find the shape. Now because we've transformed the shape already, oh, new cube mesh, it will actually create our cube around the same transformations that we did with our collision. So if you are gonna change your collision shape, change the size of it first for adding your mesh instance, it just saves that little extra time. Then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to add a material. Currently it's set to empty, so we're going to add a new spatial material and then click on this box here. Now what materials allow you to do, and I'm only going to give you a very, very quick rundown of this at the moment, is allow you to add textures on top of a shape. So the one that we're going to add is this albedo and we're just going to add a color. But you can use this to create shiny surfaces, rough surfaces, um, reflective surfaces, and all sorts. So we've got that now. And then finally, what we're going to do is you'll see that it says unsaved at the moment. We're going to do scene, save scene, and give it the name platform, and then just click save. That's now saved. So now we can go back to our level one. We've got this little link option here. So you can create an instance of a scene file as a node. So I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to click on platform. And this adds our platform into our scene now. So we can move our platform down. We can create a duplicate of it. So right click, duplicate or control D. And we can create a second one. We can start building a simple level together. We've also got the scale option. So you'll notice that when we're actually on our objects you'll see these little options here so you've got a green a red and a blue these let you scale so if i was to scale oh that's movement sorry if i click on the scale option here this will allow me to actually scale so i can scale the blue section and scale the red section or if i scale green we can scale two axes at the same time so it's a really quick way to create much bigger platforms so scale option there rotate obviously will allow us to rotate our platform so we could add a slight incline i'm going to leave it flat and then movement allows us to move it in the different directions so really basic 3d tools once again we can now play our level and this is what our view looks like so far and the next uh, video we'll start looking at adding some character movement as well